This is a response to TV Serious, not to a video you've made there, Karen, but to the uh, comments you've made on my most recent video, the one I uploaded yesterday, called Arse Backwards Into The Unknown. Uh, as you know, it's one of the series of videos that I occasionally make lamenting the human condition. I think, I think you used the word lament, lamentation. You describe it as a soliloquy of secular lamentation. Yeah, it is that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And... Uh, and I lament occasionally because I feel sad about the world sometimes. And uh, if that makes me a misanthrope, and you give me some good company of other misanthropes to be in, then so be it. You know what I mean? Um, I do think I do take issue with some of the things you're saying there, though, Karen. I mean, I, do, I really respect your presence on YouTube, and I, I and you know you're one of my oldest subscribers. I don't mean <laughs> that's not a reflection on your age. You're one of my most long-standing subscribers. And the person probably who uh, probably posted the first comment to me, I think, when I first came on here, and I was just using YouTube as a site to store videos. Um, but you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't like your comments here, Karen. I'll be frank with you. Um, you know, sometimes I say sad things because I'm sad. You know what I mean? And I should have the right to be sad. I'm not. Some of the I do try to. Phrase that fra or frame that sadness in terms of reflection of the world, but sometimes it's just me. You know, sometimes I'm just sad, and and I don't think I should apologise for that or feel that I'm being self-indulgent. Maybe I am, but you know, I don't. Again, I, I see no reason to apologise for that. You know, and some of these things you say are a bit. A bit uh, I think you're making some assumptions here. I mean, let me just read this out. You say, uh, "Look, this is the world we were born into. We don't have to like it." I would concur with that. But we do have to live in it. I'm in 100% agreement. We can spend our days wandering the fields, wringing our hands and expressing our agony over the human condition. And if that's what I'm doing, you know, spending my days wandering fields, wringing my hands over the agony of the human condition, then, well, then that's, then that's what I'm doing. I think I do a little bit more than that, to be honest. And then you go on. Or we can do whatever little is within our personal power to change as much as we can. I don't think it's an or, is it? Isn't it an and? You know, we can, you know, we can either for reasons of personal psychology or for reasons of what we feel to be an authentic take on on on, on a world that's full of uh, unpleasantness, or for whatever reason, we can have a certain take on the human condition, and on the t a certain take on the animal condition, and a certain take on history. We can have that, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's all we do. You know, maybe we do other things. Maybe we can do other things. Maybe we can do whatever is within our personal power to change. You know, and I would absolutely agree with that. I would I'd add a sentence and get fucking angry sometimes, actually, if it was me writing that. So I don't think the one precludes the other. And, and, you, and you, you know, to be honest with you, I find your assumption that the only thing I do in life to make life worthwhile for myself and other people is one of the fields making YouTube videos. I know, I know you are politically active and uh, an active in charity work of some kind. You don't know that I'm not, okay? So, that's not right, is it? Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much all I've got to say, really. Yeah, I do, I do think that we are... Um, we ha I do think we have come to kind of cultural consciousness as well as individual consciousness with a realisation that we have, if not a debt to, to history, then at least... Um, uh, a very ambivalent, a necessarily ambivalent relation to the processes that have got us here. You know, I mean, I don't. Yeah, I mean, that's just what I think. You know, you may disagree. You may think it's that the the kinds of processes that have led to this production. Um, I'll tell you the analogy. I mean, I made a stupid naive video a couple of days ago about technology being really cool and how that would be nice if we all lived in a modest, sustainable technologically um, advanced world and, and a YouTube user, yeah whatever man, made the absolutely right point that you know, I'm sitting here with a laptop and a flip camera and a mobile phone in front of me in this apparently sustainable little tiny environment but that's only possible because the, the processes which have led to this technology being on the desk in front of me here have been incredibly destructive in, the, in a part of the world I'm not inhabiting and in a time frame that I wasn't around in and in, and in you know, 100 years' time, when the silicon and all the elements in this computer 
are still in the ground and still causing problems. I will be long dead. So, you know, in the same way that I'm asking here, it is, yes, it looks cool, all this computer stuff, but I have to take on board the fact that there's a, uh, an ethics in this computer and in this technology. It comes at a price, is what I'm saying. It comes at a price, and it's not just the price I pay at PC World. In the same way, you know, being alive and awake comes at a price. It comes at the price of, his, of, of you know, millennia of, you know, dangerous and difficult processes for a lot of people. And it comes at the contemporary price of, uh, you know, on the planet and the people and the animals and the life forms within it. And that does bother me. I'm not going to deny that for a second. It doesn't render me impotent and it doesn't... Um, it doesn't even depress me, actually, most of the time. You know, the things that depress me, as I'm sure depress you, Karen, are much more close to home. You know, that's where, that's where you feel it. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm glad you're comparing me to Thomas Hobbes, Johnson Swift, and the Marquis de Sade. I'm not sure about that one. But anyway. 